Peeps! Welcome back to another dealer's choice video. As you can see, the scenery is a little different. It's a lot of white. There's gonna be a lot of art coming over here. Not a lot. Maybe like one picture, right? Mm -hmm. Hopefully a big Batman picture right here. So I can drink whiskey with Batman. If you didn't know, Ashley is an artist and she paints a lot of stuff for me. In the previous videos, you saw like a mountain. That's the Lonely Mountain, in case you didn't know, from The Hobbit. It's my interpretation of Lonely Mountain. Just put it out there before we Interpretation, say it. interpretation. Okay. If you're not aware, dealer's choice, Ashley chooses three whiskeys from the cabinet. I have no idea what they are, it's a blind tasting, and I'm gonna choose the best one. This one has a little more vanilla in the wood, in the oak. Strong wood. So while I was going to get some water, <clears throat> that one kinda like stuck with me. I got a lot of brown sugar, vanillas, oak, and butter. <clears throat> Also known as butter without the voice crack. Butter. Butter. Sounds pretty good. I like that one. A little bit spice, but not overwhelming. This one's a little lighter on the nose. Kind of only getting oak and vanilla. The alcohol kind of hits a little bit. I get a little bit more rye out of that. Like the eucalyptus. That one's pretty good, but I think I'd prefer that one a little bit more. Mmm. A little bit of banana. Brown sugar, vanilla. Good amount of oak. Alcohol doesn't hit my nose too hard, like that one did. Like a, a cocoa and a clove. It's coming out of that glass. Like a blackberry, a deep caramel, and some good vanilla. Yeah, I think I do well there. Is that your final lineup? Yep. <clears throat> well, that was a really disappointing reveal. All right, Ashley, let me... Uh, Hold my disappointment in my hands. This is George Remus Bourbon. This is a single barrel pick from the person down in Connecticut. It is straight bourbon. It is at cask strength. It's 57.6% alcohol. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed in myself. All right, Ashley. What was alpha? Second place, Baker's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, single barrel, at 53.5%, aged a minimum of seven years. Kind of a, kind of a surprise it beat this one today, but, and number one is super surprising. I probably would never have picked this as number one between any of this. <clears throat> Thomas S. Moore Chardonnay Cask Finish Whiskey. It is Kentucky Straight Bourbon, and it's sitting at 48.95% ABV. What I would have preferred if I knew what they were, number one, number two, mm, number three. It's probably what I, I would have picked if I had known what they were. And Ashley, what did you choose as my number one? I thought your number one was going to be George Remus. And then I thought your number two was going to be Thomas S. Moore. And then your number three was going to be Baker's. So she didn't get a single bottle right. Boo! It's not on her. <laughs> I really uh, fucked up this one. Uh, you won! 
I get a, it's like a win-lose. I get a point, but I don't choose my favorite whiskey. Mm -hmm. I guess in the glass, I choose my favorite for tonight. But I guess I was thinking of a little bit more sweetness today. It's not always the case, but today it was. So, you are six and a half still, and I am three and a half. May the roof above us never fall in, and we friends beneath never fall out. Salute. Remus. No? Wow. Really fucked that one up, huh? Thomas. Yeah. Obviously Bakers. Yeah. That's surprising. Super bummed out. I know you didn't get this right. <laughs> I thought. But, I thought you'd put George Remus in first, and then I me thought you'd do Thomas S. Moore, yeah. and then I thought you'd do Bakers. Same. <laughs> you literally didn't get a single one. No.